Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Alex and welcome back to my channel. Oh, it feels so good to say that. It's been months. It's been quite some time since I've obviously done a YouTube video, I know, but I appreciate the hiatus. I will have to say that. Make sure guys, before I get into today's video, take a second down below, like this video, subscribe to the fam. Subscribe. Takes a minute. Go ahead. Click the red button. It's quick. It's easy. <laughs> anyway guys, yes, please like this video and of course subscribe down below. Yeah, it's definitely been some time since I've done a YouTube video. Um, honestly, what, since like early spring? And I think it took me a while to try to find my routine again and get back into everything, of course, since we've been quarantined. Basically, when I got back from Nashville visiting my parents in early March, I came back, that's when stuff really hit the fan. And I've honestly been sheltering in place that whole time um, for almost five months now. It's been tough. It's been tough on a lot of different levels, not just for me, but for everybody. So many of my family, my friends, my loved ones, everyone I know, my coworkers, my peers in class are all just kind of having their own struggles and it's, it's really hard. So if you feel like you're going through it, girl, we are all going through it. We are in this together. Of course, I would go out for like essential items, groceries, anything like that, takeout. You know, who doesn't love a pizza? Some Chinese food here and there. I appreciate some pickup takeout food. I will definitely say that because I'm just tired of cooking, you know? It's like after a while, the whole banana bread thing was cute, but then after a while, I'm like, I don't want to do dishes. Who wants to do dishes? Oh no. But honestly, that is it. I do not leave the house really just for that. And I know some of you are not on the same page because I see your Instagram stories. And quarantine, I feel like, has taught me a lot of things. Since I've really been at home, you are so confined to the walls of your apartment. Um, the good thing is I've been taking a lot of walks. Well, quarantine has taught me like to really find delight in nature, and I was never really a nature person. <laughs> People who know me know that I'm actually terrified of the outdoors. Like anything that crawls or flies or makes noise freaks me out. So I'm always like nervous to be outside. That sounds strange. I like to be outside but preferably not around bugs or critters, people. So. <laughs> so I'll take a lot of walks outside a few days a week, just kind of get exercise, just kind of clear my head and get out of like the confined walls of my apartment. So if you have not found a way to kind of de-stress or kind of get all the anxiety out and kind of the jitters, take walks. It feels weird because I was like, am I one of like those older ladies who have like the little <laughs> dumbbells and are kind of doing their jazz moves everywhere? You know what, girl, whatever. Everybody's taking walks now, especially at night when the weather is better, it's so nice, so I recommend that. And I've also just really been focusing my attention on work in school. So if you didn't know, I am a graduate student. Oh, girl. <laughs> I'm doing an MBA program, and that has taken up so much time. It was a lot of time before when I was working, before this whole COVID stuff happened, but my summer classes have been hella hard. Hella hard. Like, really hard. But this summer in particular, my classes have been so much work. There's a lot of energy has to go into them, of course. So that's honestly been a blessing for me because I've been able to work at home and really kind of get a lot of that stuff done, which has been so nice. I feel like now that we are taking classes online, professors are like, oh, you got time. Here's a paper, here's a paper. Want a paper, want a discussion, here you go. And I'm just like, dude, I'm in like three other classes. So let's calm down. But yeah, that's taken up a lot of time. I've, every single day I'm dedicating a few hours a night to homework. Um, just because before I was leaving everything for the weekend and then I found myself so stressed and like upset and depressed because I was just had never had a weekend. I was so tense during the weekday and then I was so tense all the weekend because I was doing homework. So I try my best after the work week around five, six o'clock, take a break and then boom, get back into my studies and get back into the books and at least do that for a couple hours a night. So that's been helpful for me. Um, but yeah, so that's been good. I'm really thankful just to be healthy and working from home and uh, doing my classes online and honestly, I love working from home. Like I really really like it I didn't think I would love it that much um, Just being at home and confined to the walls. Of course, it's different when you literally cannot go anywhere I think it would be nicer if I could like go places and stuff too and not have to worry about this like crazy disease I thought I would get like super bored maybe to be distracted by the refrigerator <laughs> But be distracted and just like not focus, but it's honestly been the opposite I get so much more work done at home. I have so much more or less distractions. And I feel like people only really reach out to you when they need you in that case. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. And it's just nice to have flexibility during the day. Like, okay, the slower meeting day, I'm gonna pop in some laundry, pop in the dishwasher, or take a walk during my lunch break. Stuff that I would never have the time to do before. And now I have the time. So I've been grateful for that, which is awesome. And work has been really crazy. I work in social media. So especially when everybody had to go shelter in place and we were really on lockdown, I think many social media managers out there really were like, okay, 
this has proven to you all that our jobs are very important because of course everything now is on like a more of a digital platform. So social media I feel like has been like crazier than ever. Like people need to know what's going on. They have so many opinions to say. So that's been honestly taking up a lot of my time as well. Um, but yeah, a lot of school, a lot of work, spending time with Chris, which has been so nice. Um, I feel like before we were always so busy, there was always an event or I was going to work or we had different work schedules or whatever it was. And now that we are like forced to not go anywhere, it's been nice. Just be able to like spend time with one another and like go for walks, um, cook a lot of meals, eat together. Um, just kind of chill out at home and just really just enjoy each other's company. I'm so grateful for that because before I felt like I was go, 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 go. I was going to work, going to school, going to brunches, going to dinners, going to meet up people, going to church groups, going to this. It's just like it was always something and I just felt like quarantine has helped me just to like sit down, literally. Like just be able to sit down and be at home and just be thankful for the things we have. I will say it's hard because I've obviously missed my family. Uh, my family, they live in Tennessee. so. They are quite far away from me, um, and I do not feel comfortable getting on a plane right now. So I don't know when I'll feel comfortable getting on a plane or for them to come here, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of disheartening. And for any of you who may have family or loved ones, spouses, kids, whatever it may be, who are out of state or out of, you know, your area, it's, it's, I'm sure you feel the same way. It's really difficult. And of course, I am so thankful for technology, for FaceTime, for phones, for texting, Zooming, whatever you want to call it, all that stuff, because you know, at least I'm able to see them without, you know, being in their presence. But yeah, I miss family. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's pretty much what I've been up to the last few months. I miss you all dearly and I cannot wait to be back with more videos. I've ordered some Fenty Skin. We're gonna get some Fenty Skin unboxings, you know? So maybe some Day in the Lives. I don't know, let me know what you guys wanna see. I know it's different now. I used to love makeup. And of course I still love makeup. But, um, we're not really going places now, so I don't know if you want makeup videos, but I can give you makeup videos if you want them. Just let me know. Yeah, guys, that concludes it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Bye, guys.